There's a monkey in my bathroom. I'm just gonna sit here, kill time with Mr. God, and that's all I'm gonna do. It's God's temple. Hello everybody, and here we are counting down the top games in Temple OS. So here at number 10, in my opinion, is ZBlox 2S6. This is by Win7Turtle on Discord, and he made this game. It has its own level editor. You can see monsters spawn on the ground, and it's kind of glitchy. Like, sometimes monsters spawn right on top of you, um, but... You know, uh, you can customize the levels, add more bullets, uh, change up the monster variations. Once you get it working, it's, pretty fun. it's a pretty fun shooter game. And if it was shown a little bit more love, maybe it would be higher on the list. But right now, that's what we get at number 10. At number 9, I'm putting a game by Terry Davis. It's After Egypt. I mean, this is just a classic Temple OS. It's not even really a game. It's more of like an adventure story. But it really gives you a good introduction. There's a lot here. Uh, good introduction to Temple OS and the God Words. There's a Ray Caster. There all these randomly generated, procedurally generated stuff, and you can learn about the God Words. So yeah, number eight. We're gonna go into the right, right into the next one from Crunk Lord 420. It's Dig Game. So you fight monsters here, the CIA, and you have a bunch of different tools. You get a grappling hook, a pickaxe. And you can swing across the level. And there's a shop mechanic too. So you can mess with the level editor here. But I didn't have too much uh, experience with it. Which is why it was only at number 8. But at number 7 we have Castle Frankenstein Part 2. So this is an edit from Tinker. Uh, the same person who made Tinker OS. And this is just a updated version of the... T Castle Frankenstein code by Terry Davis and it just has some updated controls for more precise movements, power-ups, added sound effects, more monsters. Um, it just is an overall really good um, ray casting like first person shooter and probably the best one that we have on Temple OS uh, right now. So here I am just kicking butt and having a great time. Have else much else to say about this, but it's just a lot of fun to shoot these guys. And they added some death animations too, which is pretty cool. So at number six, I actually have a game by Enroot Fiend and me. I also helped code this game. Um, we really, I think, is this is like kind of a better version of Varum. I mean, you're not f uh, racing another car here, and there are a lot of glitches. Like here's a glitch where you can at the beginning you know, just get infinite pizzas, but you're supposed to deliver the pizzas, and it's a lot of fun, uh, I got like a score of 800 if I was doing it legit, but, you know, it's got some randomly generated land here, you can just skate around and have a lot of fun, but at number 5, we have Wordle by X. so this is just a Temple OS implementation of the popular a New York Times Wordle game, and this is just a great game to have on Temple OS because it really makes use of the God word vocab list and there's just it's you know simple good graphics uh, the font is real nice and simple and I'm not very good at Wordle but I did end up uh, getting the right answer after some weird guesses uh, number four we have the Oregon Trail this is also on Tinker OS Modified by Tinker OS it was originally from 1975, the Minnesota Educational Computing Consortium, and it's just the classic text adventure, Oregon Trail. So you pack up your trail and you uh, you pack up your wagon and, and head on the Oregon Trail. And what's just cool about this version of it is that when you die, it generates a random verse for your tombstone. So that's pretty cool. At number three, we have Battle Lines. Now, this is probably a controversial pick because it's kind of hard to control this game, and it might be frustrating at first, but it's basically like a really simple version of Warhammer. I, if I had to describe it to someone, you got to force these people with your mouse to go and kill the other opposing team, and you basically have to encircle them, and it's just a really fun to figure it out and set up different 
uh, battlement formations. It's just a really fun game. So that's why it's number three. And at number two, we have Blaze It FGT2. This is a remake of the first game. The God Wards have been kidnapped, and you have to be a bad enough dude to rescue. So there's a bunch of bosses, crazy graphics, sound effects. So here's the control menu. We hop right in. And there's just some amazing graphics going on here where the whole screen can get just contorted and it plays into this, uh, the unique graphic formats of Temple OS and the 16 bit colors. It just makes amazing use of them. This is just, you can see here, all the cool screen effects that are going on. This is an amazing game to play if you ever install Temple OS. And number one, what could it be? It could literally be anything. Get excited. Here it is. Number one, Friday Night Funkin'. So Friday Night Funkin', you thought Wind Turtle was done. No, he came back with a vengeance, and he made this awesome Temple OS implementation of Friday Night Funkin'. Now, i got to be honest, I've never played the original version of the game, but this is a great implementation. It's a great rhythm game. It's a lot of fun, and it even comes with a level editor. So if you want to make your own God Song and put it into this game, you basically have your own, you know, Dance Dance Revolution in uh, Temple OS. So that's what, uh, it's number one. Uh, thanks for watching. Yeah.